Commodore Call post game here with Josh Hess and Crispy Shea. I'm Blake Bernard. After the Commodores come away victors against the Bourne Braves to take the West Division finals, they'll be facing YD tomorrow in the Cape League Championship. And Josh, a really solid all around game today for the Commodores. But what did they have to do to rebound from that game one loss? Well, I think they just had to go back to their basics. You look at last night and they drew seven walks against this Bourne team, and that got them back into the ball game. It was a tight game yesterday, a close win for Falmouth, and then they came out today, jumped out early against Bourne, had some great pitching from Brendan King tonight to start it off, and then the offense just carried the team the rest of the way. Now, Chris, I'm going to go to you real fast for the team. They've gelled really well together. What's been the biggest factor to kind of get them together on this team? Well, they were 10-10 and 10 after the first 20 games of the season, and you've really seen it in the postseason, especially after that game one loss against the Braves. And I think it's been their ability to gel as a team. And when they do lose, they don't get discouraged. They bounce right back up. And I think the biggest thing is they expected to win those next two games after dropping game number one. And the confidence is really unparalleled in the Cape League. And that's been the big difference for Falmouth as they've cruised through the first two rounds. Now, win it for Trundy, Josh. The team's embraced it, but what does this coaching staff do in a series like this to kind of help them pull away? Well, the coaching staff is key. You look at the third base coach, Brad Stoll, yesterday with some key base running. First base coach, Jack Martyr, does a great job getting the batters ready, teaching them what to do during a pitching change, just getting them set and ready to go. And it's been such a great coaching staff, very laid back. The players love playing here, and when the players are happy to come to the ballpark every day, then they'll play well. Now, Chris, J.J. Matajevic and Gigliotti, just huge keys in this series. What have you seen from them in this series that's kind of helped them stand out? Yeah, the two lefty bats have been absolutely incredible. They've been really impressing the scouts all season long, and I think it's their leadership. You know, J.J. Matajevic is a little bit more of a vocal leader. Gigliotti just kind of lets his play do the talking, but I think Gigliotti is such a great table setter. He manufactures so many runs for the team, has 10 runs in the playoffs so far, and Matajevic leads the team in RBIs, had that double tonight and the home run that got the scoring started, and they've really been difference makers at the top. YD tomorrow at 6. Real quick, Josh, what does this team need to do if they hope to come away victors in the Cape League? Well, I think they have to go back to the pitching, which has carried them this far. Jeff Passantino gets the start tomorrow, and we know how dangerous YD is in the postseason. So if Falmouth can just start off early and take that early lead and have Passantino on the mound, that's going to be key tomorrow. You can catch it right here at the Gov, 6 p.m. broadcast, first pitch, and then Commodore call pregame right at 545. Until then, we'll see you guys saying so long from Gov Fuller Field. The Commodores once again winning the West this season.